Riparian. And what is that? Riparian ecosystem is essentially the ecosystem found upon riverbanks within river systems themselves. Okay. When you start at the water sampling, the pH is all oxygen and stuff like that. You know, how does this impact? It's multi-use, but is it friendly to all use? Right there. Oh, yeah. That looks like it's uh, mid. 8.2 out there. Oh, yeah. See, it's a mayfly larva, I think. Yeah. They actually stay and hunt on the surface, and their feet can use the surface tension of water to stay right on the top. This thing is extremely acidic. We're down on the Yampa River. Um, down, boy, we are like. 300 yards from campus. The Yampa River is so close to CMC that you can actually just walk down the hill and come right down. We're by the public library. We're actually standing right now in the middle of the fault. So when you see the fault that runs through Steamboat Springs, there's a lot of hot springs that are here with sulfur and things like that. We're here to examine the riparian habitat, the riparian ecosystem of the Yampa River here in town. Riparian habitat being aquatic environment next to the river, the vegetation, the animals, the organisms that live in the water, and we studied the dissolved oxygen, the pH, fecal coliform, temperature, macroinvertebrates, <laughs> and did a, a full stream survey of what we saw today here September 16th. Wrap them all in tin foil. The probe said 75.6, that said 78. Well, you should do. We've been doing this several years in a row so we can compare our data over the course of three years. Um, today, we are at a very highly impacted recreational site. And I think what we were seeing was a lot of the results of the impact of a lot of summer use on this area. We did see stoneflies, mayflies, um, a lot of uh, water boatmen, aquatic worms, things like that. But um, compared to the last two years, our survey was not as prolific as we had hoped it would be. So my guess is that um, we're thinking it has a lot of impact on the site. But as part of the Intro to Environmental Science class, one of the things, the goal for today was to really look at our own surroundings and what can we do to um, deduce the health of an ecosystem, the health of this environment by species indicators, as well as some of the other data being pH, fecal coliform, dissolved oxygen, stuff like that, to study the health of this riparian habitat. The plan goes with the uh, Hayden Health Plant. They do an excellent tour out there, and they talk about um, environmental impacts uh, some of the measures they have in the place to protect the environment. Stone foam. Yeah, there's either one of these maybe. I'm gonna pull this off, but find a way. What is it? It's a mayfly larva, man. It's got a split tail and everything. Good job. Nice.